Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 12th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. I just cut it to the Five of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is very self-sufficient, focusing on themselves, you know, working on their business, working on something, um, putting in a lot of effort into something to build up something uh, abundant, probably. Um, this is a hard worker, so this is putting in effort into self. Now this is a daily energy, so keep that in mind. And not every reading is for you. I don't think I said that at the beginning, so I just need to throw that out there. But this is a card of independence, independent success, um, living a good life, happy. Somebody's probably really, really happy with their accomplishments. You know, uh, this could even be, it feels like we have somebody here that is admiring their work. You know, maybe they've worked really, really hard on, maybe it has something to do with gardens or the yard or their home, you know, and, and admiring their work, you know, so there could be some admiration of a job well done. You know, you may be admiring the job that you have done, and this could be even building up yourself. You know, if you've been grieving over a situation, this is... You know, a very self-sufficient, hard-working individual who has become successful by themselves. This is, uh, it's kind of almost like a congratulations, really, it is. It's like, you did it. This is success. It is success. So, yeah. But this Five of Cups is, is focusing on something that's gone. Maybe letting it go. It's just like, I feel like it is letting it go. If there's been some sort of grieving or something, it's because this is like, I'm quite happy where I'm at. I'm quite, quite happy. So interesting. We may have somebody here that is, I mean, this could be, I mean, I could go all day with just these two cards, but this could be a separation from, you know, from a partnership to being single and happy with the transition, you know, just letting it go. I feel like that's what this is, um, but not for everybody. It will not be for everybody. This is about uh, success, independent success, and, you know, I'm happy. I'm really happy with the work that I have done, so... I don't know if somebody's working in their home or their garden or outside. I feel like it has to do with outside and, you know, there's some sort of accomplishment here. And so what do we have for a message today? And it could be just, you know, somebody that has been grieving and now they're really happy with how far they have come. What do we have for a message today? <laughs> I guess it was meant to come out reversed, huh? And maybe it was, because you never know how I'm going to pick up the deck. So that is letting bygones be bygones. It's letting it go. That definite, that was confirmation. That is letting it go. So that somebody is letting something go. I feel like they're in a much, much, much better place. This is a golden opportunity here. This is yes, that's another confirmation. Yes, that's letting it go. Focusing on the future. This is a new investment, you know, invest in them. Again, I feel like something to do with the home or garden. You know, I want to say gardens. I don't know why. Ace of Pentacles. That is a yes answer, a new investment. Um, it could be even investing in health, even with the Nine of Pentacles, too. This is definitely... Uh, it's a gift, realizing that, in that Five of Cups reverse is realizing something, realizing this is a blessing, realizing this is a gift. Somebody ha is receiving a gift, perhaps. This is a golden opportunity for success, long-term success. This could even be a winning or a windfall or you know, new job, somebody's going to be receiving something or getting something or maybe even purchasing something. This is something that you can touch, something you can keep, that you can hold on to, that adds value, okay? Receiving something valuable, receiving something valuable.
Mm. Now this is going to the pass position. Like I told you, I do first I do the now position and then I always go to the past. Empress reversed. So the Empress reversed is a lack of growth, a lack of nurturing in the past, not taking care of things. Somebody has not been nurturing. They haven't been taking care of things. There's been a lack of growth. There could have also been a lack of self-value with that Empress reverse. Ooh, on the future, Four of Cups reverse. This is seizing a new opportunity. This is now interested, okay? It's in, the, in the upright, it's I'm not interested. Here, I'm interested. So interested. So we have somebody here that has a new interest. You know, they do. And I know that they do. They have a new interest. They're now interested. You know, they may, have, they may have missed an opportunity or they were lazy or they weren't putting in much effort because, I don't know, maybe they were feeling at a loss for some reason. There was a loss with the Empress Reverse. That's, that's, that's like a, maybe there was a termination or there was a rejection or, you know, there was some sort of loss with the Empress Reverse. The Empress Reverse could even be a loss of a child or a loss of a husband or a loss of a partnership or a loss of love, you know. With the Five of Cups Reverse, especially, it's like grieving, you know, not wanting to do anything. There could have been a lack of self-value, lack of self-worth, but that is in the past. This is beginning to realize with the Five of Cups Reverse that there's another option, there's another opportunity. And the Four of Cups Reverse, again, that's like, you know, there's there could be some self-love here especially with the nine of pentacles as well this is now focusing on the future focusing in a new direction now I'm interested this could be like um, I don't know it, it's a new it's a new direction looking in a new direction I'm interested interested in something more Sorry about that. Five of Wands reverse. That's the end of a conflict. Somebody has been conflicted. They've been, uh, I don't know, maybe they've been in some sort of dramatic situation. Fighting for something or fighting for you know, somebody that wasn't interested in them, or I don't know, but this is like giving up the competition. It really is. It's like, I don't want to play. I don't want to play. I'm not playing. I think the Five of Wands reverse is the end of a conflict. I think there's been some sort of tension or there's been some sort of um, drama, but I feel like it's like, I'm so happy. I'm really happy with where I'm at with that Nine of Pentacles. Page of Wands reverse. Now that is laziness, right? This is procrastination. It's not taking any action. It's uh, making excuses. We do have somebody here that didn't want to go in a new direction. They were, they didn't, they weren't taking any action. There's laziness here. No drive, no ambition, maybe even some, oh, it's immature behavior. Something about a mother and a child here as well because we have the Empress reversed and the Page of Wands reversed. You may have somebody here that has a self-image problem. Not very mature, immature, immaturity, no growth things not growing because of laziness or things not coming to fruition and because of laziness procrastinating boring we have we have somebody here that was it's like not living their best life because of maybe even a lack of self-confidence maybe and it's probably because of a previous loss obviously the five of cups above and reversed that's beginning to see that there is another option, interested in another option, all done playing games, you know, um, focusing on self is, is big here. I know that it is. 
Maybe it's even self-love and, and something like that. I feel like there's some sort of relief with the Five of Wands reverse, feeling relieved, maybe beginning to realize that it's a blessing that, you know, something happened. You know, we, we come to a point, it's part of the grieving process where we accept and we realize. Page of Wands reverse is a setback, though it's bad news. Somebody could be receiving some bad news. I, I gotta be honest. It may have to do with a mother and a child. It doesn't have to be, but the page of one, it could be a, you know, withdrawn invitation. Maybe somebody got an invitation from somebody and they're, they're you know, withdrawing the invitation. Just saying, page of wands reversed. Ace of Cups, underneath the Four of Cups reversed, that makes sense. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Moon, all is not as it seems. There's something hidden here. It has to do with love because the Ace of Cups is right above it. Somebody may be hiding their feelings. Ten of Pentacles reversed. There's been some sort of arguments because it's the ten of, it could be a family situation, a family feud. This could be the end of a family feud, a family argument. The Ten of Pentacles is right underneath the Five of Wands. Okay, they're both reversed. Okay, the, if there's been a family feud or family fighting or family drama, you know we could have a turning point here. Okay, we could. Just saying. Um, I don't know. This could be an extreme though when you get the five when you get any card in reverse it could be an extreme so I got to change this up okay I hate, to, I hate to, to to tell you that but this could be an, this could be like war it could be family feud you know world family feud war world war 3 or whatever you want to call it this could be a serious fight okay with the family it could the five of wands reversed can be extreme it can be a serious battle extreme competition and i do see competition here all is not as it seems so we may have we have may have somebody here that is overdoing it you know with the drinking you know and you know just saying there could be drinking issues here acting Acting on feelings. But the Ten of Pentacles reversed can also be the end of a legacy. It could be. There could be, you know, because um, that could be the collapse of an empire as well. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. Losing it all. Total ruin. Somebody may be losing it all. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ten of Pentacles reverse. That is a, that is total ruin. You know, it's bad business. It's a it's a unstable home or family life. There's drama. There's stiff competition here. We may have somebody here that you know is wanting to fight because we have interested and it could be fighting. Somebody may be what really really putting up a fight. They could be it could be a fight over money. It definitely could with the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles reverse they could be fighting over money who gets what you know that kind of thing all is not as it seems emotions are gonna there's a flood of emotion here emotions all over the place there is there is there is very emotional when you get the ace of cups okay People forget to mention this, but there's emotions flowing out of that cup. That means that it is emotional. It is very emotional. There's also intu intuition here as well. Somebody's in, they may not have been listening to their intuition. There's going to be in, there's going to be some sort of intuitive messages or intuitive nudges that are coming on this day. So pay attention, pay attention to that. Pay attention to your intuition. There could be a family fight or a family feud. Absolutely, positively, definitely, there could be. Um, this could also be the end of a family feud. It could be. It could be. All is not as it seems. There's fear. There's something that is hidden, that is hidden below the surface. 
It may have something to do with a mother or a stepmother or it doesn't even have to be a mother. This could be somebody that is very self-absorbed. Hmm. Hiding something. Somebody is hiding something. Maybe they're hiding money. Moon next to the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Bad news. Bad news. Beginning to realize somebody is beginning to realize something they had their eyes closed they weren't seeing it but now they are now they're seeing something maybe their intuition told them something which gave them a wake-up call has something to do with the I don't know if it's the family money or an inheritance you know because the ace of pentacles is a hair inheritance the nine of pentacles could be an inheritance the ten of pentacles could be an inheritance it doesn't have to be it could be family money it could be business money something about the business the home or the family fighting 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 over money But the Ace of Cups is acting on feelings, following the heart. Somebody was naive, Page of Wands re reverse. They may have been taken advantage of by a individual who is not about love. This person is not about love, not very loving, very selfish. They may have been taken advantage by somebody that is very, very selfish. This is not an empress, right? The empress reverse. This is an empress wannabe. All is not as it seems. There's something that is hidden. It has to do with money or family or business. King of Wands. We could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, with the Moon card, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is taking action. Somebody's about to take action. This is somebody that is uh, very strong, determined. It looks like this person is angry. You may have somebody here that is angry, that is caused that anger is causing them to take action. Okay, I mean, if you look closely, this guy doesn't look very happy. This is somebody that is given to take action when they, when they get the news, whatever this news is. And the news, uh, page of wands reverse is not good news. May have something to do with a sibling or children, mother, child, family issue. Family fight. I do believe that there's going to be something that is done or said that reveals something that has been hidden. I mean, because the moon is something that has been hidden. There, there's somebody that has been wearing a disguise, right? They've been wearing a disguise with the moon card because of the shadow. You know, all is not as it seems. And something is going to be revealed. This is a visionary. We have somebody here that, I don't know if their intuition has told them to look somewhere. They open their eyes and they see something. You know, it's like they see something that they had missed because the eyes were closed in the past. It has something to do with a feminine. It does have something. And, and a child. Or children may have something to do with family. It's a family situation. Mm. Somebody may also be getting a message. You know, pay attention to your dreams because your dreams may be able to give you a message. There may be something in the dreams that are to try, your dreams that is trying to tell you something. We could have some vivid dreaming going on here. So pay attention to your dreams. When you get up in the morning, try to remember 
Try to remember your dream because it has your dream has a message. There could be a change of residence here. We do it with the King of Wands underneath the Ten of Pentacles reverse. There could be a huge fight, like I said, extremes. I don't know if it's with a woman. I mean, we do have a woman here, or our feminine here, that isn't very loving. The Empress in reverse is somebody that isn't very loving, isn't very nurturing. This person, I don't know if there's this person could even be dealing with a younger person. You know, maybe there's a younger man or a younger woman that is involved that is caused. It could be a meddler here. But we do have somebody here that is about to act on their feelings. It feels like they're angry or they're upset. Maybe they've had some setbacks. The Page of Wands reversed is a setback. They've had some pet setbacks. Maybe they've been dealing with a woman that takes advantage of them. There's no love, you know. And there's, we do have a new start in love here. Somebody is now going to be taking an opportunity, it looks like. With the Ace of Cups, there is an opportunity for love. But in the Four of Cups reverse, this is an opportunity you will love. You will love it, okay? But it requires action because the, the King of Wands needs to take action. So, and this could be anybody. This is somebody that is, it could be any sign. This is somebody that is about to take action even though there's fear and there's an unclear and difficult path ahead with the Moon card. This is somebody that's about to take action. They may be, they may be giving up a fight. They've been give, may, they may be choosing to leave a home or choosing to leave an establishment. It could be even a job. I mean, King of Wands is, to, is, is boss. Uh, you know, is somebody that is in a leadership. Definitely has the skills to be a leader, to be a boss. This is like somebody that is taking the lead, taking charge. Um, making a decision so a decision is going to be made even though there's fear because in a, you know there is fear there is fear there's lies here too with the moon card there's lies somebody's been lying and i feel like there's something that it, i don't know if I, I really feel like it has to do with money i do We could even have gambling here or spending money on overspending. You know, somebody's been overspending or they've been wasting money or, or hiding money or stealing money or there's definitely fighting over money. But anyhow, because, you know, it's interesting that we started out with the nine of pentacles. That's somebody who has built up their stability that has worked really, 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 really hard to obtain stability. This could be a business owner, you know, or somebody that is very independent and has uh, is very happy with who they are they're about to be challenged if that's you okay i think that you're about to be challenged it may start out where you're where you're admiring you know yourself and how far you've come and then boom something happens there could be a family fight it could be somebody that's after the money or after the stability or after the business or something like that Somebody's going to be following their gut in a new direction. They are. Not only their gut, they're going to be following their gut and their heart. So intuition and heart. This is a brave, bold move. Smart move, smart move. Wheel of Fortune. This is a change. This is a change. It's a change of events. This is definitely going in a new direction. I mean, I just said it. This is going in a new direction. This is the end of a cycle. It's the end of a chapter. This is a big, bold move. That is no doubt. Okay? This is somebody that... This is the end of a karmic cycle. Okay? This cycle is over. This is... This is a positive change that is coming because somebody is taking action, okay? 
Somebody may also find themselves at the right place at the right time. They don't see it coming. You may find yourself, and this is like serendipity. It is with the moon, and I was looking at the moon, and I was saying that. There could be some serendipity here. Um, somebody may have already found themselves, you know, at the right place at the right time, but this is a positive change. Okay, so somebody is making a very positive change. They are ending a cycle. They are. They're ending a cycle that uh, there's been a lot of illusion. The moon is illusion. The moon is fear. All of, It wasn't what it was all cracked up to be. Focusing on the future. Leaving behind. I feel like we got somebody here that is leaving behind a female. I do believe it's a female that doesn't take care of them, doesn't love them. This person is selfish, forceful, self-absorbed, may uh, be very greedy, doesn't take care of things, doesn't nurture things, very lazy. We may, this could be even about you. It could be about yourself. Maybe, maybe you've been in a place where you haven't been taking care of yourself. First card we had was the Nine of Pentacles, was it not? I think it was. That's about taking care of yourself, doing what's right for you, living the good life, you know, having abundance. It's not easy, but yes, I got to do what's right for me because uh, to me, the main card in the deck that, that talks about self, well there's, well, there's a couple of them, but is the Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit is another one. Um, there's a few, but anyhow, self, it's all about me. It's all about, it's all about what I need, making a decision that is best for me. So I feel like that's what's going to happen on this day. It's a positive decision. This is right. Yes. Yes. And the ace of pentacles is yes. This is a golden opportunity for success. If you are questioning your decision and you want to go in another direction, go because it will bring you abundance. Okay, this is a fortunate change of events. Maybe you've already been offered a golden opportunity. If you add that Ace of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, you get the Ten of Pentacles. That can lead to abundance, but action is needed. You have to replace that fear with faith and go for it, even though there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. Somebody is presented with another opportunity to go in a new direction, and I think they're very interested in it, and I think they should take it because this is going to be something you love but you're going to have to face your fears that may require you know you to leave a family situation behind or where there's been a lot of bickering there's been a lot of drama there's been a lot of competition you know it may require you to leave that behind may uprooting definitely could be part of this this is like you have to maybe you have to surrender and give up that fight you know and admit that you know this isn't working out. It's unstable. It's insecure. It's not bringing you abundance. So somebody may be taking action to go in a new direction. It could it could be, you know, the king of wands can tend to act suddenly. So somebody may, may, may be making a decision to do something pretty spontaneous, but it is very positive. It's a yes, do it with that wheel of fortune. This is very fortunate. Okay, it will bring you fortune. It will bring you a reward. If you can replace your fear and take action, you will have a reward. <clears throat> One more card. One more. I guess that's it. Seven of Swords. That is taking a new approach using reason, right? Slipping away, making an escape. Somebody may be making an escape. They may. This is somebody that maybe this this could also be running into something, you know, but this is making a getaway or going it alone or it's taking action, you know, doing something. Definitely not having fear. Okay? This is having courage. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is going to do something very courageous. On this day, they are. They're going to do something courageous. They're going to do something really, really. I feel like it's. I feel like they've. I don't think think it's as spontaneous as you would think. I think this has been thought out, but the time might be now. You know what I mean? Making an escape or doing something spontaneous, although it's been thought about. Good luck. <laughs> 